Hello people of the internet, I am still not an Englishman, still making YouTube videos and um, it's been a while since I made the last video and I'm terribly sorry for that but I do have an excellent excuse because uh, for the last month or so I have been extremely extremely lazy really there's no excuse for not making what you're supposed to do or what your passion is but a few things have happened so we are still editing this feature film that we shot three months ago or something and we have 36 hours of material so that's fun and I'm editing a short documentary that I've shot a few weeks ago which is also actually really interesting and I'm gonna talk a bit about it in this video and the third thing that happened is this Yes, I am now officially a husband and I no longer have a problem of how to refer to my partner. She is now simply my wife as part of the fiancé or girlfriend or whatever the problem was. So that's one problem less in my life, which is always good. Also, we got a PlayStation and Horizon Zero Dawn really isn't helping with my productivity right now. And before I go to the main theme, or kind of to make a segue to the main theme of this video, I want to talk a bit about of this short documentary that I've shot and I'm editing right now. So about a year ago, my girlfriend met this lady who lives in our area and um, they kind of started talking and she found out that she moved from Poland to London about 60 years ago. And she's also an artist, a painter, as my wife is as well. So I started talking and this lady is now 83 years old and she wanted to make a short documentary about her life and about her work. Something to leave for her kids and for anyone who would be interested in her work. So one thing led to another and we shot this documentary and she is amazing. <laughs> she paints or draws every single day. There is no excuse, there is no day out. She will sit down every day and she will paint. She's amazing. In the year 1986, and she was about 55-ish, I think. So remember, this was the 80s. No cell phones, no internet, nothing of this kind. <clears throat> so she decided to have a... She had a sabbatical, she had a year off in her work. And, um, and she cashed in her life insurance and just decided to go traveling around the world by herself. And so she picked the countries that she wanted to visit where they have certain art styles which she wanted to learn more about. And so she went traveling and lived with locals and just, just sucking in all the culture and everything that she could learn about. It's crazy. And for the year 2000, she was thinking what kind of a gift she could give herself for the new century. And she decided that, that every single day for the whole year she will paint a triptych. For every single day she cut three large pieces of paper and she had her portfolio with paints and brushes and wherever she went, she went traveling to Canada and I don't know where, she would take this with herself and she hasn't missed a single day in the whole year where she would paint three paintings basically amazing she was teaching in oxford and you know she's went through she went through so much in her life and talking to these people is really really inspiring and kind of leaves you without many excuses to do whatever it is you want to do and i had the privilege to watch her paint and draw and it's so amazing just to see someone draw a very simple line and you can see that that hand has drawn thousands of lines and it knows exactly where it's going and exactly what it wants to do and, and just mind-blowing which kind of leads me to what I want to talk about in this video. A lot of times I hear people saying that someone has achieved something because they are very talented or when I'm searching for jobs a lot of times people would say that they are seeking for talented individuals and in the worst case a lot of times people would give up their hobbies or passions or not even start with them because they would say that they don't have enough talent or they don't have any talent at all. I don't really believe in talent. I believe that different people have different predispositions. So uh, let's say you have a motoric and I don't know, rhythmic predisposition. This, you could say that this kind of a person is, has a talent for dancing. And while I think that different people having different predisposition 
is an undeniable truth. I also think that having or not having a talent for certain things is not a factor of you succeeding in that certain thing. Let me explain. There's a very good book called Mastery, and it's linked in the description. And the writer uh, gives a very nice example. So he is a trainer in the, I think, Aikido class, some form of martial arts, doesn't matter. And he says that every single year he gets new trainees and obviously there's gonna be talented trainees and the non-talented trainees. And, and you can see that immediately by how they move, by how they hit and, and, and everything. But he says, quite surprisingly, that in the long run, the non-talented trainees are more often more successful than the talented ones. And that's because they don't have a safety net. For them, it's never a case of, okay, I haven't trained enough, but I'll go out and I'll just wing it, because I know deep down, deep down, subconsciously, you know that there's a part of you who can do this thing naturally. Because if you don't have the talent for something, then you need to learn and you need to work on it until you get to the point where you're 100% sure that you can nail it. And to say that someone has won an Oscar or an Olympic medal or whatever you want just because they're talented is quite a bit short-sighted. It's all about the skill. The talent is 5% of the end result. The rest is skill and will and they're both interconnected. It's only about how far can you go or how far you're willing to go to learn something and to acquire certain skills. And if you regard someone having an advantage because they have a talent in something and you don't, that might be just because for them it was easier to realize what their potential is, whereas you just went, just had to find out what you really like and what kind of makes you move and then you went doing it. Think of it as a video game and that's totally not connected with me playing Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever PlayStation game I'm playing right now. Um, in video games, you, you have a hero and through that hero you, you gain experience. And then you gain enough experience and then you kind of trade those experience to gain new skills. And that's how it goes. The difference is that there in the video games, when you, once you gain the skill, you have it. And in real life, you just have to keep working on that skill every single day, pretty much for the rest of your life if you want to be a true master of it. So there, if you want to be an actor or a filmmaker or a ballet dancer or a trapeze artist or whatever you want to be, you just have one excuse less. You're welcome. And for the end, I would like to leave you with an anecdote, which as far as I'm concerned, is probably made up, but it doesn't matter because the point of it is what matters. Um, so the famous painter Picasso was sitting in a bar and he was sketching something on the napkin. And the waiter saw him and came to him and said, uh, Mr. Picasso, would you mind if I take the napkin? And Picasso looked at him and said, hey, not at all, you can take it, but it'll cost you $30,000 or money, whatever, 30,000 money. And uh, the waiter looked at him and said, but you, it just took you five seconds to sketch that. And Picasso looked at him and said, yes, but it took me 30 years to learn how to do that. And if you're self-employed, I hope this story makes you feel a bit better the next time you think you're overcharging your clients. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for everyone who is subscribed to this channel. I know we're very used to YouTube creators having like 100,000 and million and 10 million subscribers and then watching the videos, making it and how amazing it is. And it is amazing. And right now I have just about 400 subscribers. And for me, that is pretty amazing. That is 400, 400 people who've watched the video or two or I don't know how many and said, yeah, okay, I like this guy. I'll, I want to see what he comes up with in the future. So thank you. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. It, it, it gives me more hope and more energy to, to keep doing this, which I love. And to those about to subscribe, I salute you. But art kept my sanity. It was my life saw me through all the tragedies and all the difficulties and I don't think I could live without it. It was just as important as my children.